KWS Manufacturing was founded in 1972, so we're going on almost 50 years in operation. And our main focus is bulk material handling equipment, screw conveyors, drag conveyors, and bucket elevators. The plant and main office sits on 20 acres of land located in Burleson, Texas. So we have plenty of room for expansion. 90% of all of our business is custom. It's not a stock item. It fits an exact application for the customer. When the actual raw materials come in, it could be stainless steel, whether we use 304, 316L stainless steel, or just your regular mild steel. First thing it does is we check it, the quality process. We basically make sure that we're receiving what we actually ordered. After that, it goes through the fabrication process. The screw is the main component of a screw conveyor, and a screw manufacturing-wise is fairly simple. It's essentially a piece of pipe that's cut to a certain length, and the bushings are machined to fit exactly in the pipe, and then we put bushings in each end. The flights or the blanks are burned out on our high-definition plasma table. Once they're burned out on the table, we take them over to our presses, and they're pressed into one revolution or one helix of the screw. Those flights would then go to our conveyor welder. Those welders would mount the flights on the screw and whether it be a continuous weld or a continuous weld on both sides of the flight, they'll weld those things out. After that process, it goes to the quality department again. And we do a QC check on it to make sure all the dimensions are right. We look at the weld quality, we look at the weld profiles and we make sure that everything is in spec before it's shipped out of here. And then once it's welded, it gets drilled to the standard SEMA two or three bolt drilling. And then it goes to a cleaning, straightening and painting process. Troughs are basically sheet metal. We either bring the material in cut to size or we shear it to size. And then we form the flanges, if it's a form flange trough, in our CNC brake press. and then they go over to our rolls and they're rolled to an exact dimension. Once they get rolled, then they go into a welding operation and we weld flanges on each end. So from there they go to clean up, then they go to paint, and then they either go to assembly or they go to shipment. If it's a software assembly run, we'll take it to our assembly department. They're the ones that are gonna assemble the final product after it's come through every department. The screws that was built through the conveyor department would be delivered to the assembly department. The assembly department would then assemble it into a trough. Whatever components are involved on the drawing, we pretty much just go by our BOM, our bill of material net drawing. Then the quality department, once again, we check it before it leaves and goes to the customer. Motion Industries is our largest customer, and then they're also our largest supplier. The buy-sell relationship begins with Motion supplying the industrial supplies and safety equipment that we need to run the plant. And they also supply us with gear reducers, motors, belt drives, everything that powers and supports assembled conveyor runs. Motion Industries and KWS have a long-term strategic partnership focused on satisfying the needs of the customer.